you have to be you you come to it gradually so you have to be able to play each one of them and and know what is it about but then the next step comes how do you prefer uh, how do you prepare actual performance how do you balance your energies because um, it's a 70 minutes of music when i was younger i played it more without uh, intermission and now i do the intermission after <laughs> after 40 minutes after first 12 caprices which are more difficult um, it's uh, first thing is you have to know every element but not only technical element how you're going to perform it but uh, your mental and if you want if you wish the, the sh how your soul stays your emotion emotional state at the every given moment so you know you make sort of map in your mind of the uh, uh, of the of the cycle and so you know where you have to be especially concentrated where you could I don't say back off but be a little bit more calm about it where you can risk take maybe faster tempos where you should not risk by any chance uh, and so on so also the the structure so it's it, it that's very personal because for one violinist some caprices could be more difficult than the others and for the other vice versa so how you come to the more difficult one for yourself how you prepare so how do you, you start thinking about it one or two caprices before so it's all story let's say so then when it, i must say that even though at this age which is of course not too much but for 48 49 years old it's supposed to be more difficult to play than when you are 20 or 30 because even physically it's more, more dynamic but i must say that i feel more calm about it now uh, compared to how it was uh, some 20 years ago. So there's hope for the young ones. Yeah, well, some, some experience comes with, uh, with, with age, and you really know what you're going to do. So then, uh, and you just have to walk this way. You go from one to another, and, and you have to leave this 70 minutes. Every one of those caprices, of course, is very difficult and takes a lot of practice. Uh, but in my view, it's useful to play more caprices, to practice more caprices at the same time, because one uh, caprice helps the other. And uh, having them in your repertoire helps you to bring your violinistic level up. And then when you have to encounter any other difficulty in any other repertoire, uh, you could overcome it with a greater ease, uh, because the caprices really, really have everything.